Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the choice router. Choice router is the core component in MuleSoft we are using in the project as per the business requirement. In this session, we will cover the following points. So first one, we will cover the introduction of the choice router. So we need to use that choice router in the APIs. So how we configure the choice router in our API, we will see in this session and how to add routes to the choice router, we can see here. So in this presentation, we will try to learn about how we can use the choice router. So this one is the schematic diagram of the choice router. Here you can see the multiple routing options are available and in the last one default routing option are present. So let's start with the introduction. The choice router dynamically routes the message through a flow according to a set of database expression that evaluate message contain. Each expression is associated with the different routing option. The effect is to add conditional processing to a flow similar to an if else condition block. It is present in the programming language. Only one of the routes in the choice router execute, meaning that the first expression that evaluates root row trigger that root execute execution and the others are not checked. If none of the expression are true, then the default routes are executed. Sometimes we need to use the choice router as per the business requirement. To satisfy the requirement, we need to configure the choice router. To configure the choice router, specify one of the more condition to evaluate and the message processor that execute when any condition evaluate to true. Additionally, configure a default route that execute when none of the different condition are true. So we need to drag the choice component to any point from the mule palette. Then we need to click when inside the choice router and configure the expression value in the properties window to specify the condition evaluate. Then the drag the message processor inside the when to specify the processor to execute when the condition is made. And last one is to drag the message processor inside the default to specify the processor to execute when the none of the different condition are made. Adding the routes to the choice router. By default, the choice router has one of the routes option that execute when configured data expression evaluates to true and a default route that execute when none of the expression in the existing routes are the true. Add more routes when you need to evaluate more than one condition and then execute the different operation depending on which condition is made. So first one is add routes by dragging the component in the studio from the mule palette in any point studio click any component and drag it into the choice router as you see in the diagram so here you can drag any component and place inside that choice router if you see the vertical black line it means that this routes option are available or added there the second option is that add the routes by editing the xml you can also add additional root option to choice router by modifying the xml so first you need to click on the choice router after the right click on the choice router select go to the xml and inside the inside that you need to add the choice element and starting of the vein 
and ending of the when end tag you need to add there it means that you are the condition is add there so after that we will start the poc so let's start with the one simple poc i have created one api here i have created two flows and in the both flow i have covers the small poc is here so let's start with the one simple poc here i have added the listener because we have exposed our api as a rest api and in that configuration we have configured the host and the port so the path i have added is a color and one the set variable i have added here and in the set variable i have set one query parameter which is named as a color which was sent by the user and it is in string format if the none of the value we have passed then it is considered the default value so i have added the three roots operation here and it need to match each uh, color which i i have assigned here the first root operation i have assigned the color is yellow and in the transform message i have written the simple message like the color of my house is yellow the second routing option or the condition i have added the input color is need to equal red so if it is match this condition and it is given the true then it is showing the message color of my house is red then the third one i have assigned the variable value is white if the input color is assigned and it is matching that value is a white then it is showing the simple message the color of my house is white and above none of the condition is match then it is route this operation to the default one and it is show the color is not match so if any condition is match then it is giving the true so i have debug it already and i have added a breakpoint here so let's test it, test it that application so this one is the host port and color is the query parameter and i have added the value is yellow so first it is match with the variable and this condition is true we will try in the expression mode it is true or not so it is true and it is satisfying the first condition and execute in the first routing operation so we you can see in the console we get the response the color of my house is yellow so i will change it to the white and the send the request now we have passed the color is a white and it is satisfying the third condition and we are getting the output messages color of my house is the white now i have changed the query parameter value and send now so it is satisfying the second condition and it is getting the true after the execution of the second routing option we are getting the output the color of the message color of my house is red and if i have change the value and which is not present in the condition yeah. 
so it is going to the default one because orange color is not present in that condition and above none of the above condition is satisfying so it is going to the default one if i have taken this condition and i will add in the expression then it is showing the false for the satisfying the condition we need to true so it is going to the default one because orange color is not match here so we are getting the output like color is not match so let's move to the second poc which one i have created as a calculator here the four operations i have co covered first one is addition then second one is a subtraction third one is the multiplication and fourth one is a division and last one is none of the operation has match so let's start with the first with the listener in that listener i have added host and port and path is a calculator and first logger i have added which is given the simple message start of calculator then in the variable instead of adding the simple set variable with multiple time i have added the transform message and in that transform message i have created the three query parameter number one number two or are in string format and default value is empty string i have added and third one is the operations so if you want to create the query parameter you are a parameter or payload here you can add a new target if you simply click on here and what output you want like the attribute variable you can choose and and here you can give the variable name and you can create the query parameter or the URL parameter so in that choice router i have added the multiple conditions so first one i have added the addition of operation two numbers first one i have added the two loggers first one it is start logger and it is end logger which giving the simple message end of adding the two numbers then the transform message here i have given the simple data expression and it is in the json format which give the addition of the two number this one is the variable which one i have set here which store the value which uh, any customer or the end user have passed and it is making the addition with another number and that output we are printing in the console with the help of this logger this one is end logger and this one is a end logger of the calculator so it is a operational subtraction in the second routing option so it will giving the simple message start subtraction operation of the two number then the transform message here i have added the simple data view expression and given the logger as a payload which will given the subtraction operation on the console so third operation i have added as a multiplication here the simple two loggers i have added and it is showing the simple message start multiplication operation of two number and end of multiplication operation of the two number in the transform message i have added the simple data expression here the multiplication of the two numbers are happen and last operation is a division operation here start logger then end logger it is present then in the transform message i have added the simple data expression here the division is happen so in the last one is default logger here 
the condition is not match. Now I will save the request. And it is the addition of the two number. Here, post code, this one is the path, then number one, number two, and the operations is the three variable I have passes. It means it is a query params. And I have added the given value here. So if I send the request, this one is the transform message here. I have added the data expression. You can see addition is 150 of two number. And in the variable, you can see the number one, number two, and operation is add. So it is satisfying the first condition. And it is giving the value as a true. You can see that logs are present in the console. First, you can see the start calculator, start addition of the two number, then addition, it means uh, the payload in the logger is present, end of the addition operation of the two number, then end calculator. In this way, we are getting the output of addition. Now, I will add the subtraction. Now it is satisfying the second condition because the query parameter of name operation is sub and it is matching this condition and it is given as a true. So number one is minus from the number two and we are getting the output is 50. You can see here also. Now we will change the operations. Number one and number two, I have passes as a query parameter. Then it is satisfying the third operation. And you can see the payload as a 5000 because the multiplication operation are happen and same number we have passes as previously passed you can change the value as per the requirement now i have added the operation as a division and I will send. So it is satisfying the last operation or the last condition. We can say if we evaluate that condition in the expression, it is true. And we can see the division. So here you can see the division is a two and all logs are present in the console. If you check step by step, you will get the all logs. So each and every condition is now we have tested and it is get the output. If we are due the any wrong input in the operation, it means it is not satisfying the given condition or the that condition we have set in the routing operations. So it is, let's see, it is go to the default one or not. You can see, you are seeing here, that it is going to the default one and blocks are get here, condition is not match. In this way, we have complete the choice router uses. Mm -hmm.